It's the one night when WWE goes extreme. From the corner of Swanson and Rittner, the spirit of ECW lives on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is WWE. Hey, I played word association with Anderson Gallows earlier today. I said Byron Saxton. You know what they said? Let me guess. I got this. Nerd. You know what else they probably say about me? They probably say that old sax man guy, he's too sweet. They literally have never said that, Byron. Bonafide legends in the land of the rising sun. Anderson and Gallows, two of my favorite people to be around outside of the ring. Because inside, they're all business. I'd like to hang out with Anderson and Gallows outside of the ring. You would never be invited to brother softly with these two guys. I'd like to have abs like Anderson. Oh, yeah, me too. WWE Universe, here comes the reckoning. How do you stop these two? You don't. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of getting his attention with a vicious strike. He has such a wide array of offense from anywhere in the ring. Flattens him with a clothesline. That strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see that again here tonight. Luke Gallows starting to stall a bit here. But he's the number one contender, and he's not going to let his opportunity slip away. It might be time for him to recharge that battery. All he has to do is oh. get to his corner and make the tag. Speaking of champions heading into matches a bit overconfident, one of the most glaring examples of that would have to be the Honky Talk Man's ad. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. And the uppercut lands. The challenger not in a great place. I don't think this is how he envisioned this match going here tonight. If I'm his partner, oh, I'm furious right now. There's no reason why he shouldn't have made a tag by now. A big fight feel inside this arena here tonight for this huge championship match. And so far, I'd say these competitors have brought their A games. There we go again. 
This is going to be big, one way or another. Gonna have to get back in the ring here, guys. Running out of time. Oh, boy. Oh, oh man! Doing damage with the knee now. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Uh, enough already. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. And once again, we see a return to the specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. That could break a nose. Now we see Carl Anderson starting to slow down a bit. But he certainly comes into this championship match with a ton of momentum. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But that can obviously all change here. What a clothesline. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Harper, big move coming. There it is. Harper just put the exclamation point on this match. Can he end it here? He has him right where he wants him. Harper, big... There it is. Harper just put the exclamation point on this match. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Oh, no. I don't like Luke Gallows' chances in this one. Don't count out, Big L. Gallows gets that shoulder up. Uh, Gallows isn't going to get pinned by some nerd. He's not a nerd. You're a nerd. His partner's looking to get back in this thing. Caught his breath a bit, now he's ready to go again. Tagged in. He lands the punch. Vito! Man, that hurts! I don't think this is the right time for Carl Anderson to be showing off. Tremendous ring presence. Very impressive. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Here we go. Back inside the ring. When this guy's on, Roman knocked him. Here's his moment, Michael. His shoulders are down. Oh, how resilient was that? Guy Gallows isn't going to get pinned by some nerd. He's not a nerd. You're a nerd. Rowan, big move coming up. There it is. Harper just put the exclamation point on this match. I'd be shocked if Gallows has anything left. They did it. No doubt that was a match people will be telling their kids about for years to come. Here's another look. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here are your winners, and still SmackDown Tag Team, Rowan and Harper, the Bludgeon Brothers. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion let's not overcomplicate things this business is simple it's all about wins and losses and it sure looks to me like somebody has figured that out what an exciting match for the tag team championship thank you for watching Extreme Rules Match. And here comes the Architect. <laughs> Seth freaking Rollins, the King Slayer, the Architect, undeniably one of the best superstars WWE has seen this generation.
Seth Rollins has made a career out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. Seth Rollins has been a multi-time champion, a Money in the Bank ladder match winner, debuted as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose. The King Slayer set for action. He's the Lone Wolf. There's two things I've come to learn about Baron Corbin. He doesn't like people, and he loves to cause chaos. Some of the best observations you've ever made, Byron Saxton. Thanks, Corey. A perfect hybrid athlete, size, speed, strength, and skill. Baron Corbin, one of the most dominant forces to attack a WWE ring in recent memory. Former Money in the Bank contract holder. Former United States Champion, winner of an Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Introducing the challenger. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Here we go, fellas. I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. The best laid plans often go awry, but the architect has always been able to rebuild and redesign. Yeah, but it's that reclaiming oh. part at the end of his saying that Seth Rollins often gets tripped up on. to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. Well, he's got to get himself out of it now. Seth Rollins is going up. He hits a huge elbow drop. Guys, a lot of people are predicting a new champion here tonight. Even a poll on WWE.com earlier today predicted we'd have a new champ. But at the risk of being a downer, I'll believe it when I see it. disagree with your earlier comment. I'm with the masses on this one. I think tonight is the night we crown a new champion. Well, either way, guys, this has been one heck of a match up to this point, and I think it's only going to get better. I know anything is possible, but I just can't envision a new champ being crowned here tonight. The champ just comes into tonight with too much momentum. Here we go with Seth Rollins. This could be big. Look out. Somebody wound him up, and he's off and running. 
And here we go. Seth Rollins sees his opening. Oh, super kick! I'm not sure how much he has left. Byron, I agree that the champ comes into tonight with a great deal of momentum, but like you said, anything can happen. We've seen champs get upset in the past. Who's to say it can't happen again here tonight? Agreed. I don't think anybody expected Eddie Guerrero to defeat Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship back in 2004, but hey, it happened. And it's further proof that any superstar can beat any other superstar on any given night. Seth Rollins gets out of trouble, and quickly. This is definitely where you want to be at this point in a ladder match. But beware, just because you're the only one in the ring doesn't mean you're guaranteed a victory. Just ask the Miz. Baron Corbin is not looking so good here. The Miz, as Byron was saying earlier, was seemingly the only one in the ring capable of grabbing the Intercontinental Championship during the WrestleMania 32 ladder match, but his history will tell you he was in for a rude awakening. That's right, The Miz was just seconds away from winning that match, and he would have if it wasn't for that punk Zack Ryder. But hey, I guess even a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. And don't even get me started on the blind squirrel's father. What the heck was he wearing? Oh boy, he is rolling. Seth Rollins, there's no coming back from that. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. You gotta think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Seth Rollins is in position. Slay the king. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Without question, there's no doubt about how prestigious the Intercontinental Championship is here in the WWE. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you, bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from 1995. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a good idea to do some mid-ring push-ups. As you were saying, the... And here we go. Seth Rollins sees his opening. To the back of the neck. Now that's how you succeed. And you can put this singles match in the books. That match might go down as one of the best matches in WWE history. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here is your winner, and still the Intercontinental Double. Champion. If Rollins can keep his emotions in check, he can figure out a way to take this. Seth Rollins. Oh, Seth Rollins looking to put this one to an end. This might be the end of Corbin. Seth Rollins just changed the momentum of this match. What a knee strike from the Kingslayer. Game, set, match. This one is over. Players' kids are gonna like this. And Rhino!
to the ring. His clothesline finds the mark. And here goes Bo Dallas, the youngest NXT champ in WWE history. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Takes him out with a flapjack. He wants no part of this. Oh, my God, what a move. Neutralizes him with the flapjack. He hits the clothesline. Driving his knee down. <laughs> oh, man! Got him good with the elbow there. The champ's absorbing some offense here. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. He obviously came Ouch. into this match intent on taking the fight to the outside as much as he could. Though I'm not sure that's the right approach. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads Jeez. wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. Hits with the clothesline. Guys, some are saying this superstar has begun showing a bit of arrogance since the latest weekly rankings were released. But the way I see it, that's just confidence. What a shot by Heath Slater. Legs taken out by the Russian leg sweep. Curtis Axel oh, feeling man. some pressure here. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. There certainly is a fine line between arrogance and confidence, as Byron was saying, but whatever it is, I have no problem with it. This superstar has been on an absolute roll as of late. And who really cares if somebody's being arrogant? As the old saying goes, if you got it, flaunt it. And this superstar certainly has it. What an incredible move. Heath Slater forced to play defense here. But not look at this. And a kick out. Much to nobody's surprise. Too early for that. And no luck against Rhino there. Walking around the city earlier today, guys, the only thing anybody was talking about was this title match. Everywhere I went, from the coffee shop to the bookstore, everybody was talking about this match. Boom! Oh, what a clothesline! He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Byron, I had a similar experience as you this morning. Nearly every person at the gym I went to was talking about this title match, and rightfully so. This is an absolutely huge match. Okay, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. Byron spent the morning at the bookstore while you, Cole, went to the gym. Man, that's brilliant. You guys have any other jokes? A lot of people are saying the champion has never looked better, but that doesn't mean we... Oh, no. Curtis Axel looking to finish it. Oh, incredible. Nobody does it quite like him. Bottle. Here's the cover. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. He's got a boatload of energy. See if it lasts. As Byron was talking to him. this. Can he finish the job? Oh, no. I don't like Rhino. Here's the early cover from Curtis Axel to bed. Can he end it here? Things don't look good for Heath Slater. And that's a thrilling victory. Now let's look back at that amazing action. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Another exciting tag team match in the books. No wonder these guys won. They work together like they've been teaming up since birth. Up next is the long-awaited championship match. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date versus John Cena. Bring on the title match greatness.
the eclectic Shinsuke. Introducing the champion from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the United States Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura! One of the most dangerous superstars WWE has ever known. And not only because he's a world-renowned striker, maybe the best in the whole business, you are looking at a master of mind games, a psychological warrior. Some might say those mind games, that sinister-like attitude represents the true personality of Shinsuke Nakamura. This is gonna be good. And introducing the challenger from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! Listen to this place! No more talking behind each other's backs. Now they are face to face. And pretty soon, fist to fist. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. Guys, these superstars really do appear to be in peak physical condition here tonight, which isn't surprising considering what's on the line here in this championship match. Challenger is starting to falter. Well, he knew the champion wasn't going to go down oh, easy man. here tonight. I gotta agree with you, Michael. These superstars are in tremendous shape. And from what I understand, the champ has been hitting the gym twice daily in preparation for tonight. I heard the same thing, Saxton. Once in the morning, then again at night after the show. Which makes me wonder when the champ actually sleeps. If at all. discovered his favorite move. This is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. Absolutely not. Guys, a loss here for the champion would be incredibly embarrassing, especially considering all the trash talking I'm told that's been going on behind the scenes. I don't want to reveal my sources, but let's just say there's been some pretty harsh words being tossed around. Going for the double play with this move. And now it's John Cena getting pushed oh. to the limit. The champ clearly getting the best of him here. He has to be disappointed in this performance. He really is so much better than what he's shown so far tonight. I don't know who your sources are, Corey, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to learn that the champion has been a little cocky heading into this one. And there's nothing wrong with that, Michael, especially considering just how dominant the champ has been of late. When you're that good, you have every right to bow your chest. Here we go. John Cena's message delivered. But he's got to capitalize now. Knock 
Nakamura seems to... Always nice when a plan starts coming together. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Obviously a great opportunity here for the challenger who can't afford to make any mistakes here tonight. Not when you're in the ring with a champion as dominant as this one. Showing some quickness there. He's making a statement here with this attack. To follow up Byron's earlier point, the challenger has to remember just how rare championship opportunities truly are here in WWE. A loss here could result in a trip to the back of the line. Don't worry, Cole. What Shinsuke Nakamura putting together here? Perfectly executed. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. The repetition on that move is becoming deliberate at this point. Over and over and over. We're seeing the same move being used. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go forward and miss, that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. Nakamura able to avoid damage there. There's the Irish whip. Not so fast. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. And that chop finds its target. The champ starting to feel the pressure a bit. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. Guys, at this point, I'd be shocked if his opponent is able to complete this comeback. Below the belt. Oh, boy, he is rolling. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 Back no. Super on the apron. The hardest part of the ring. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. What Shinsuke Nakamura putting together here. Punishing attack on the body. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Bringing it back into the ring. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Oh, watch out! Look out, Irish whip. The WWE Championship is on the line. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. Unleashing it for the second time now. And look at the quickness by Cena. And now he goes for it a second time. Gets out of the way of that one. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Hooked up. Nothing gentle about that. The champion retains.
Introducing the table always brings an element of unpredictability, but we saw things in this match we've never seen before and might not ever see again. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste of the unbelievable kind. Here is your winner, and still the United States Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura. And Shinsuke Nakamura walks away with the W. There's nothing more pure than picking up a win in a good old-fashioned one-on-one fight. You got that right, partner. Again, huge win here tonight. The following contest Welcome to Balor Club incredible athletes to ever step foot in WWE, Finn Balor. Competing in NXT when the Shield was running roughshod. Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and this man, Roman Reigns. And we knew the future was bright, but no one quite expected Reigns to. Some people are speculating whether the champ should have to defend the gold against what some are calling inferior competition here tonight.
Things not looking great for Finn Balor. You can bet he's not going to let this golden opportunity slip so easily. Corey, I think you're just trying to drum up controversy. I haven't heard any whispers about the champion having to defend against inferior competition. Yeah, inferior competition? That's nuts. I'm willing to bet the champ started that rumor in an attempt to get into his opposition's head. Either that, or Corey's just making stuff up, as you alluded to, Michael. If you ask me, fellas, this championship match is among the most highly anticipated that we've seen in quite some time. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Like you, Corey, I've had this championship match on my radar for quite some time. And so far, I think it's safe to say that it hasn't disappointed. No, it definitely hasn't, Michael. Which is saying something, considering fans' expectations heading into tonight. I can tell you that they saw this as a potential match of the year candidate. And so far, I think it's delivered. A bad place to beat the challenger. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. Guys, I wasn't anticipating this type of performance from him tonight. He's starting to look a little lost in there right now. As we say in the trade, guys, the monitor area in the locker room is likely sold out for this one, as there are plenty of superstars with a vested interest in the outcome of this match. He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. Oh, boy, he is rolling. To Byron, what's wrong? Superman punch! He's in the driver's seat now. One of the greatest strikers in the game right now. And he hits the belly to belly. He has him right where he wants him. What's concentrating on the body here? Things are about as bad as they could possibly be right now for Finn Balor. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. We're so excited you chose to spend your Sunday with us. Close line to the back of the neck. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go forward and miss, that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. Think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going longer than necessary. These superstars look determined to destroy each other here tonight, which is what you would expect, I guess, when the gold is on the line. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from 1995. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away. What a title defense by Roman Reigns. Big fight, big dog, big story. When you introduce the enclosure, everything is possible. What a match this was. From the opening bell, this match was won for the ages. I'm almost speechless. Here's almost. your winner, and still WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Roman
Roman Reigns wins here in impressive fashion. Is there a club for losers Finn Balor can join after that performance? Yeah, the Sax Club. And as we expected, WWE Extreme Rules has been a... These people are going nuts! One of the biggest under... The phenomenal AJ Styles! You talk about AJ Styles, the list of accomplishments is seemingly endless. Styles, a true global superstar before arriving in WWE. But since What's this? Well, I think it's about to be a highlight reel. Come on, we need to get over here. Now, hold on, Cole. Let's just see where this goes. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. He wants no part of the outside. I can tell you guys that this arena sold out in record time, and a lot of that has to do with this match in the ring right now. This is easily one of the most anticipated title matches in recent memory. He got him good there. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Like you were saying, Michael, when news broke that this title match would take place here, I had dozens of people I know in and around the area calling and texting, just hoping I could get them tickets. That's how big this match is. Isn't that cute? Your friends actually think you have enough pull around here to get them tickets. Poor people. Guys, in a title match like this one, on a stage as big as the one we're on now, you have to wonder how much nerves will become a factor. Circling back to your earlier point, Corey, you have to think nerves will play a big part in this match, which I think favors the champion, especially considering how many times the champ's been in big-time matches like this. I'd agree. The champ is used to the bright lights and bright stage. Dare I say, it's almost second nature at this point. No. Oh. 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 The challenger's taking on some offense but he's very aware of who Ouch. he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step wow. in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. 
This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. When this guy's on, look out. Call me crazy, but this might be one of those rare instances where the champion actually enters the match as the underdog. I know it sounds odd, but it really seems like the champ is up against a headwind here. Oh, he's such a tough target. Back in from the floor. You're not crazy, Byron. The champ certainly has an uphill. Big move coming. Wait for it. The human body can only absorb so much of that. So impressive. Now that was an impressive series of moves. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Momentum's firmly in his corner now. Here it comes. He's got him. Here we go. AJ Styles setting up. He's docking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Look at this. And his elbow finds the mark. Got the shoulders down. And the champ kicks out. Wow. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems. And that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. Into a gut buster. Nice. The challenger not looking good right now. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. He's taken on some damage, but so is his opponent. This match can go either way at this point. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but your he may have discovered his favorite move. Can he finish the job? Cover, cover. And the champ kicks out. Gonna take more than that. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. He doesn't look too eager to get up, and I don't blame him. The yes lock! The yes lock is applied! AJ's in big trouble now. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I didn't. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. AJ's in big trouble now. Going all the way up. Incoming. He goes for the cover. What a way to win a singles match. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. fall victory here tonight that was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another i don't think anybody would have expected anything less from a match here at extreme rules that was the absolute definition of vicious second time's a charm and just like that this move is leading the charge he's making a statement here with this attack back now inside the ring Wait for it! <laughs> Gonna leave him more permanently. AJ's in big trouble now. Uh-oh, Brian looking for it. 
The yes lock is applied. Will his opponent tap? Here's his moment, Michael. 